Hey everybody, I am Kate with Crate Insider and I am here today with Josh from Kevco. Now, Josh, of course, I've been a Kevco dealer for a few years here and really looking at your evac systems. So tell me about the two different evac systems that we use for our crate, crate application. Uh, so we do two different options. We've got our, our K139 evac system and we've got our K985 breather system. Um, the K985 is actually we're using the, the header to create a vacuum and pull engine oil from the, you know, we want to reduce crankcase pressure and uh, we're using the, the header to, to pull that vacuum from us, from the engine. Uh, and then the breather system is for the, the rules that don't allow the evac. It gives you a, a nice sealed system and gets your, your breather can away from the engine and it doesn't have, you know, the sloppy oil that a lot of breathers will have. So it's just a cleaner system for guys that can't run the evac system. So with that evac, I mean, because you're drilling a hole in the header, correct, and you've got a like kind of a bung that goes in there. Um, yeah, tell us a little bit about that installation and how complex it is. Yep. So we've got a really good video online, and we can send, provide that to you and your customers as well on how we weld that in. But what we're doing is welding a half inch NPT fitting into the header at a 45 degree angle, and we're sticking it in about a quarter inch. And what that does is it'll create about seven to ten inch pounds at 3,500 or higher idle or, or RPM. And uh, with that, you're, you're creating that, that vacuum inside the crankcase, providing that uh, vacuum inside the crankcase to pull your windage and you want to reduce, anytime we can get a negative pressure in the cylinder, it's going to create hot horsepower and, and just make more power in general. And now that's really interesting. So it's, it's creating more power because you're getting, you're taking out more of the, tell us a little bit more about that. Yep, so you're actually reducing windage. You're putting a negative pressure on the si bottom side of the piston. So much like a, a vacuum pump or a dry sump, you're actually, you're just putting that negative pressure on the bottom side of the piston. The piston falls faster, it falls easier. There's less resistance against the windage because we're just pulling that out. Um, nice thing on alcohol, 604 motors, it'll, uh, you know, it'll pull that condensation that you see. A lot of guys will always question why we have so much milky oil in there. Well, your motor's sweating and it's just pulling that condensation out. And it just, uh, it just keeps your system a little bit cleaner, makes the engine perform better. It's better for your end seals. They don't want to blow out because the, the engine doesn't have that crankcase pressure it typically would without the system on it. Wow, that's a, it's really smart stuff there. Now let's talk about the legality. Um, I, I, I don't know all of the rules clearly of all the different series that are out there. Um, of course, you're from Minnesota and in, in that Midwestern market, I have a lot of IMCA customers. And in fact, I just got a question recently of about which of these systems are legal, like in a 604 modified IMCA application. Tell us a little bit about that. Yep, so we're in IMCA country as well. We're in Fairmont, Minnesota. Um, so I run the 604 crate on my IMCA modified. We run the K139 EVAC system on that. It is legal in the modifieds. It's legal in the IMCA stock cars. Um, if you go to the crates and the six, uh, 602 crates in IMCA, they do not allow the EVAC system, but they do allow the breather setup. Um, so in IMCA, the modifieds you're allowed, sport mods you're not. Um, hobby stocks you are not. Um, if you go into the USRA country, which is up by us, they do allow the breather system or the evac system on the modifieds, pretty much modifieds, B mods, most classes are available. Um, with Soda Country allows it in most everything as well. So That is some great knowledge uh, and I really appreciate that. Is there anything else that a racer needs to know before they're going to uh, even think about a buying either a breather or an evac system? Um, not really. I mean, we supply the system, our K139 dash crate kit. Um, they come with the inch and 3 8 slip-on, so they're, they're real easy to install. The only thing you're going to have to do is weld in that fitting into your header, so as long as you have some general knowledge on welding, you know, anybody can put that in. Um, we, like I said, we have a great video on how to show you how to do that. As long as you can weld it in, it's, you know, anybody can install this system. So uh, it's, it's a great system to put on. It, it's easy. You know, it's cheap horsepower, and you know, it is, it's just a, a clean system. So. Thank you so much for your time today. I will get a hold of the link for your video and I'll have that in our um, into our product description over. Of course, these products are available at CrateInsider.com. Thanks again and thank you guys for watching. Thanks, Kate.